Hey folks, PK here. Today I'm going to show you how I tie my rig when I go surf fishing. It's the only rig that I use and it's pretty simple to tie. So let me show you really quick. You're going to need mono line. Um, I use 20 pound maximum mono line and two hooks that you use for surf fishing. All right, but first I'm going to use this big string just so it's easier to see. All right. So imagine this is your main line, the orange line, and imagine the white line is your mono. All right, the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna tie a double uni knot, your mono line to your main line. Okay, double uni knot is really easy to tie. So put the line together, it's like that, all right, and you're gonna take one end of the mono, he's going to make a loop, just like that. It's a simple loop. Once again, make that simple loop. You're going to take that tag end, you're going to loop it through this loop. I go seven times. You can go, you should go at least five, but I go seven just to be safe. Okay? So, Really quick, make a loop. You're gonna grab that tag in. You're gonna go through that loop. Make sure you're going through the main line as well. So in this demonstration, I'll just do three because you know this line's too thick to go seven. Two and three, all right, there it is. So that's the first uni knot. Then you're gonna grab a tag in and the leader you know, tighten that up just like that. When you tighten it up, it's going to look uniform just like that. So basically, this main line is going to slide along that um, knot right there. All right. So you're going to do the exact same thing to that end. So flip it around. Okay. Once again, make that loop. See that? Pretty easy. Make the loop there. And then you're going to take that tag in. You're going to loop it through here seven times. For this demonstration, I'll do three. There's one, there's two, and there's three. Let me back up a little bit. I need more, more line. Loop. Take the tag in, go through that loop. Make sure you wrap it around the leader as well. So, one, two, and we'll go three here, okay? So, grab the tag end and grab that end of the main line, tighten it up a little bit. You wanna, if you, you wanna wet it a little bit too, tighten it up, don't make it too tight, and just straighten out the leader a little bit because that leader is going to kink up a little bit. So straighten it up just like that. Okay, so there's your main line and there's your leader. All right, so you want to bring these two knots together. That's pretty easy. Grab your main line and grab your leader and pull them together. Now don't pull too fast because if you're using mono, it's gonna create a lot of heat and friction. So because mono is plastic, it's gonna, it's gonna warp it and that's gonna weaken your line. So pull it tight together, slowly. Make sure you wet it before you pull together, just like that. So when you have it tied properly, you're just bringing those two knots together and that's gonna lock up that is not going anywhere. This is a really good knot. You know, you can tie your mother-in-law to a tree with this knot and she ain't breaking loose, okay? That's a really good knot to tie when you have two lines you wanna join. Okay, so that is the first knot. So there it is. So you make sure you wanna trim your tag in. Um, boom. And then trim that tag in. 
just like that. So that tag end being your mono, you don't want to trim it too short. You want to leave about at least a half inch. So why half inch? The reason is because that's your main line. A lot of the seaweed is going to catch right there. So keep the seaweed off your hooks, off your bait. So leave at least a half inch. <clears throat> and it, since you're using 20 pound mono, it, it's going to be really stiff for that for that tag in. So it's going to catch a lot of seaweed. Okay, so there is your mono. Now for my leader, the mono, I use about, oh, probably about five, five and a half foot of leader. That does seem long, but it works really well for me. So, let's, from that double uni knot, you can go down about maybe a foot, or okay, about a foot from your knot. And you're gonna make a loop, just like that. And then you're gonna make a really simple overhand knot, just like that, with that loop. So once again, about a foot down, make a loop, and just tie a simple overhand knot. Make a loop like that. Now, that loop, you're gonna go through this loop three times. Gonna make it a little bit bigger, okay. There is, but for this demonstra <coughs> demonstration, I'll just do two, because this line's kinda thick, it's kinda hard to tie it three times. There's one, and there is two. Okay, so I'll do one more time, I'll do it one more time, just so you can see it. Okay, one foot from the double uni knot, make a loop, and tie a simple overhand knot, Go make this new loop go through this loop three times, but I'll do it twice in this demonstration. One, and two okay there it is so and then just make sure you wet it cinch it up just like that all right so when you're done it looks like that now about a foot to 18 inches down do the exact same thing here all right i'm not going to measure exactly because this is just a demonstration and that line's pretty big For well, this one, I'll just go through once because I'm running out of leader here. So make sure you go when you make that loop, okay? Make that loop. Make sure you go tie an overhand knot three times. Three times. And before you cinch it up, wet it because again, mono line is very sensitive to heat and friction. It'll warp if you don't wet it. So there is your two not, I'm sorry, your two loop for your hooks. Okay. And then at the very end, you're going to do the exact same thing. So you pretty much have three loops. So again, just check your state regulation if you can use multiple hooks. In Oregon, you can use up to three hooks. So there is your first two loop. That's going to uh, be where your hook is. All right. At the very bottom, I usually go about probably two feet from from the second hook down I go about two feet and I just simply make a loop again so I'm gonna go three times again I'll just do it once because I'm, I'm kinda short on leader so make sure you go over it three times so it doesn't slip tighten it up wet it there it is for your tag in, clip it, just like that, cinch it up really good. So basically there is your leader. You have a double uni, first loop, second loop, third loop.
first, the first, second, and third loop is tied the same way for each loop. Really simple. So, how do you put the hooks on and the weight? Well, you have that loop, and I made my little ghetto hook here. Imagine that is your hook right there. So you have the eye of the hook. You're going to take that loop. You're going to pass it right through that eye of the hook like that okay so once again take the loop pass it right through that eye and you want to take the hook you're gonna pass it right through that loop just like that okay and then you're gonna cinch it up just like that so now that is not going to come off because when your hook is in the water the bait you know the of course drag the tide the water moving really really fast it's going to pull the hook that way and your line's going to be pulled that way so it's going in the opposite direction that's not coming off okay so there is your first hook then the second hook exact same thing i think i might have uh made the loop too small for this hook but I think you get the idea you're gonna pass that hook right through that loop once again you have your second loop pass it through the, uh, the eye hook the eye of the hook and you're gonna pass that uh, hook right through that loop just like that and then cinch it up Okay, so there is your hooks, just like that. Pretty simple. Now the bottom one, the bottom loop, that's for your, uh, that's for your weight. I use a two ounce. Okay, so the disc sinker looks like, yeah, this this guy. This is a three ounce, but I use a two ounce. It's got a loop right there, and you're gonna pass that loop right through that eye, and then around that sinker. So, for a bigger picture, um, I don't think this is gonna work because this is too too big. But anyways, let's give it a shot. So imagine that is a loop in that weight. So pass it right through, and you're gonna pass this loop sorry gonna pass this weight right through that loop just like that okay and again that is what it should look like that's not coming off trust me so let me go through it one more time because I went that my thing my finger kind of blocked the view so you're gonna take the last loop the eye of the sinker you know, go right through it put that loop right through that eye pass the sinker right through that loop okay just like that and there it is so there is your standard surf fishing rig pretty simple pretty easy um, I use mono because it tends to be less visible and it's extremely effective. It's super easy to tie. Okay. Again, my leader, I just call this whole thing my leader. And it's about, I use about a five foot leader. One foot from the double uni is my first hook. About 18 inches later is my second hook. And about two feet later. Um, that's my sinker. So uh, the math doesn't really um, add up, but usually I use about five feet, five, five and a half feet. Okay, so that's that. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the same method with braid line and motor line and a real hook, just to you know show you how that's done. All right.
Okay guys, now I'm going to show you how to tie it with real braid and real mono. I have mono line here, I know it's hard to see, but this is 20 pound test Maxima. It's the only line I use because it tends to be pretty stiff and it works really well. 20 pound Maxima right there. Okay. So I use again about five foot leader. This is about three just for this demonstration. And then there is the main line. This is 65 pound braid. Uh, green, I use it because it's gonna show somewhat easier in the video. All right, so you line up. There's your main line. You're gonna line that up with your leader. Side by side, parallel together. Okay. So you're gonna take your leader and you're gonna make a loop just like that. Um, once again, make a loop. You're gonna pass that tag in through that loop. Make sure you wanna go around the main line too, of course. I go seven times. I'm not gonna do seven, I'll just do a really quick one. I, I didn't count, I'm not sure how much that was, but and then you wanna grab your leader and the tag end of your mono. Just kind of cinch it together. Again, wet it. And then as you can see that braid is gonna kink up a little bit. That's fine, that's normal. And just tighten up your pull on your uh, main line to straighten out that line. Okay, so there it is. Don't tighten it too far. Leave it kind of loose. All right. So if you tie it right, that um, main line is going to slide right through that loop. I think I might have cinch it too tight but it's gonna go through that loop just like that. It's supposed to slide up and down. Okay, so that is your first knot, your first uh, uni knot. Now for the second one, you're gonna go to the other end. You take your tag in for your main line and you're just gonna make a loop just like that. All right, you're gonna pull that tag in through that loop seven times. I'll just do four here, call it good. Okay, now let's do five just to be sure. Five. Okay, grab the tag in and grab the main line, pull it together. There should be good. Okay. So you have two double, you have two uni knots right there. So, and then you want to bring them together um, so they cinch up like that. So, grab the leader, grab the main line gently, make sure you wet it. Wet it and gently pull them together. Don't pull it too fast or else the mono will uh, will warp and that's gonna weaken your line. Bring it together. Just like that. And once you're done, tighten it up, tighten it up a little bit more. Don't pull it too tight because braid line is very sharp. It'll cut your hand. Okay, just like that. So. And that is a very, very tough knot. It's not going nowhere. So for your two tag in, just clip it off. Don't clip it too short. Leave about, I would say, at least a quarter inch. But for your main line, sorry, for your leader, the mono, I would leave about half an inch. Okay. So you see that tag in? I know it's kind of hard to see with a 
with a small line. Um, that is gonna be pretty pretty stiff and it's gonna catch a lot of seaweed you know before it slides down your leader and that's what you want so that's why I use 20 pound mono because it's stiff it's gonna catch a lot of seaweed right there right now that trust me it's a really tough knot uh, many times my hook would break before the knot does and that's why I use it pretty tough knot so there it is that's your first knot that's your first double uni knot well not your first it is your only double uni knot so there's your leader you're gonna come down about I'm not gonna go the actual size here but come down about a foot all right come down about a foot from your uni knot and make that loop with your mono okay you're gonna make a loop like that and just tie it you're gonna pass it through you're gonna tie a double it's not a, not a double just tie an overhand knot a simple overhand knot you're gonna pass that loop through here three times one two and three so make sure you wet it before you cinch it together so there basically there is that lube right there make sure you wet it before you cinch it up and then just pull it tight 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 as you can all right uni knot first loop okay about a foot from each other and then down below that first loop about 18 inches same thing exact same loop okay make a loop double not a double keep on saying double um, a simple overhand knot three times through that loop one two three cinch it up again wet it wet it first cinch it up okay so there is your two loops now we're gonna do a third one exact same thing and I go down about two feet from from the second hook down about two feet and this in this demonstration is only about probably 12 inches okay so you're gonna make a loop at the very end of your leader exact same knot pass it over a, a overhand knot and go through that loop three times one two three come on again wet it and cinch it together okay so your tag in there again cut off only about don't cut it too short Right, something like that okay so there it is um, you have three loops and a double uni knot to join the line together it's really simple it's simple to tie and if you want to switch out hooks lead uh, lead pretty easy too and I'll show you that all right so put on your hooks I'm gonna use these guys, these are number two bait holder. I use Gamagatsu. So take off two hooks. Put them on a safety pin because it's just easier to manage that way. One. Two. Okay. 
So your eye, your hook eye, you're going to pass the first loop. You're going to make a little point in your first loop and you're going to pass it right through the hook eye. So there is your first loop. Just make a little point. Okay. And then depending on hook size you use, uh, if you use a size 4 hook, it's, it's probably not going to work with this 20 pound because when you fold it together, it tends to be too thick for to pass through that eye. So to, I use a number 2 hook and that goes through pretty well. Okay, just like that. You can pass it through. Don't pass it through like going up. Pass it go going down. Pass it through going down. Just like boy, these old eyes, I swear. Okay, just like that. Now you're gonna pass that hook right through that loop. Just like that. And then pull it together okay so there it is if you want to switch out your hook simply push on your loop uh, your loop you know push on your moto and back it out pretty pretty see pretty simple so once again go through the eye of the hook and pass the eye of the hook sorry pass the hook through that loop like that. Okay, there it is. So there is your first hook. So you see how kind of how it bounces like that? Because the mono is stiff, it tends to keep the hook off your leader, which is what you want. All right, there's less tangle. All right, the second hook, exact same thing. Make a point. Make a point in your loop. And then pass it right through that eye. All right. Then pass the hook through that loop. Just like that. Pull it. If you worry about this sliding loose, it, it's not. Again, the uh, it's not going to come loose. You know, the bait when it's on, the water's going to pull it that way, and you're pulling it this way, so it's not coming loose. And the reason you want it like this is because it's really easy to, to switch out your hook. Just back out your hook and you know go through that loop, and then you're done. So that's that. Okay, so the very bottom one, the very bottom loop, that is going to be your um, sinker. There it is so far. And the uh, last loop, that's going to be a sinker. So this is a two ounce. Now remember to make your loop a little bit bigger than your weight. The diameter of your weight, so because if you make it too small, you can't pass it over that weight, all right? So, to hook this on, pretty simple. Make a point and pass it through that eye of that disc sinker. Pass it through and pull the disc sinker right through that loop, and there it is. So you want to switch it out, pretty easy. Just um, Just back it out. like that. So, once again, go through the eye of the sinker, pass the sinker through the loop. Uh, there it is. So this is my standard surf rig. It's very effective. Um, I did this one before, this, this demonstration before. And I was using braid, and I don't recommend braid. I'm gonna have to update that video. Uh, this one is, I've noticed a lot more cash rate using this rig because of the mono, and the mono tends to be less visible. 
All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.